The hoi hoi. Not too long ago, I made a video showing some top shelf free plugins for any sound designer that I use every day. And while those plugins are amazing, they don't necessarily cover every single bass that a pro sound designer needs to be considering. So in this video, we're gonna cover some cheaper plugins that are gonna help you out in your sound design workflow immensely. Now, if you're a total beginner, don't worry too much about diving in and buying every single one of these plugins. None of them are an absolute requirement, except maybe the last one. So stick around to the end to take a look at what that is. So with that, let's jump in and cover five cheaper sound design tools that will be really helpful in your workflow. And as a heads up, I'm defining cheap as something that's under 100 US dollars. And I understand that can still be very expensive to a lot of budding sound designers out there. But this list of plugins is going to give you a really great bang for your buck. And as a heads up, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies or plugin makers at all. The first plugin is the EOS Reverb by audio damage. Now, all of you likely know what a reverb pervert I am. I'm not one to hide my shame. And if you followed any of my older videos on the sound design of Hyperlight Drifter, you know that I use the EOS reverb on basically every single sound in that game. And this reverb has a lot of settings that can give it this kind of crazy, modern, anime, stylistic sound. I would never use it if I needed something really realistic sounding, but for stylish stuff, I reach for this all the time. It even has an infinite setting, meaning you can click the button to reverberate it forever and have that sound play and reverberate on itself infinitely. This is an extremely useful setting to allow sound designers to take a portion of a sound, reverberate it forever, and take that reverberation and turn it into a loop or some sort of extended sound. Next up on the list is Serum. It's very likely that many of you out there have this or know about this plugin. Not only is it a fantastic synth for sound design, it's also great for electronic music production, which is the world it's primarily known in. It's also a great tool to learn subtractive synthesis on. But Serum has basically everything you need to make some really great sound design from a synth. It's got loads of wavetables, lots of great presets, a great interface, and some really cool built-in effects as well. It also has a huge community of video game sound designers who use it regularly in their work, so you can learn a lot just by Googling around. In fact, this was one of my absolute key tools when I did the sound design for Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. It's really indispensable for sci-fi sound design in my opinion. And at the time of this recording, you can even rent to own this plugin through Splice for about $10 US a month. That's pretty nice if you're on a budget or just want to use it and see how it works for you. Next up is something a little off the beaten path, and that's Polygon by Glitch Machines. Glitch Machines is one of the few plugin makers that actually focuses on making tools for sound designers as opposed to just musicians. And it shows in the incredibly crazy and wild stuff that they make. I haven't even scratched the surface with everything that they make, but Polygon has been an incredibly useful tool when it comes to making something really wild, unpredictable, and kind of crazy. What's cool about Polygon is that it's not completely synthesis based. It actually works off of samples that you can provide the plugin or that come with the plugin as well. It's a really useful tool to use the sound that you already have or the library that come with it and manipulate them in really interesting, unique, sometimes rhythmic ways that you never could have predicted otherwise. It's one of those tools that I love to use when it comes to just experimenting and playing around and getting some really cool results in the end. <laughs> Now, if you've been sound designing for any meaningful period of time, you know that sound designers have to make whooshes. A lot of them. So the next plugin I want to talk about is Whoosh by Tonsturm. Whether you're making things like a car driving by or a bullet whizzing by or something like that, Whooshes are an essential part of any sound designer's toolkit. And the Whoosh plugin is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to create Whooshes using your own samples or the ones that come with it. It also allows you to time those whooshes to the animation you're working with, the film you're working with, or whatever it may be. This is basically useful for anything that needs a whoosh, from sci-fi to totally realistic to fantasy and beyond.
As a heads up, this plugin is kind of a plugin within a plugin. Woosh lives within Reactor, which is one of Native Instruments' plugins. You can either load it within Reactor or Reactor Player, which is the free version of Reactor. So you can download Reactor Player from Native Instruments' website, get Woosh, and then you'll be totally fine with full functionality. It makes making Wooshes easy peasy. And the last one might be one of my favorite lower priced plugins out there. And it's one that I think most budding sound designers should just go ahead and get. And that's Bruce Free by Clevgrand. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing either of those words right. Anyway, it's an amazing denoising plugin. And if you've been sound designing for any meaningful period of time, you know that a lot of our work involves denoising. If you record anything on your own, you're gonna hear the noise of the room or an air conditioner or a car driving by or anything like that, and you need to get rid of that to make your sounds more usable. Bruce Free allows you to do exactly that. Now, when it comes to denoising, a lot of people in our industry use Isotope RX. And Isotope RX is an amazing, incredible, invaluable tool for pro sound designers. But it can also be pretty darn expensive. Yes, it can do more than Bruce Free, but if you just need to denoise, which most of us do, Bruce Free is a great pick. Just take a listen to this recording without any sort of processing or denoising on it. And now let's take a listen with Bruce Free applied. Much, much cleaner, all with the touch of a button. Now, before we continue, I hear what you're thinking right now. But a cash, you feather light, dreamily delicate chocolate macaron, you say. Are any of these plugins necessary for me to become a pro sound designer? And you can probably guess the answer to this, no. Like most plugins or pieces of hardware, most people don't necessarily need them. The knowledge, know-how, and experience matters more. The only thing I would say on this list is really, really helpful to most sound designers is Bruce Free. If you don't have a way to denoise your audio already, like Isotope RX or even the Audacity Denoiser, if that's not working so well for you anymore, Bruce Free is a perfect, perfect choice, especially if you're going out and recording your own sounds and want to make them sound as clean and as usable as possible. Possible. But other than that, you can just pick what you need, if anything, and come back later and get everything else if you want it later. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this list, and if you like this video, consider subscribing. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Go pet a dog.